Hello, this is R-I-C-K-Y, the Android guy. Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to speed up your Galaxy Note Edge. Now for this device, it runs at an okay speed, but definitely like things on the home screen, when you hit back, when you go to an app and then hit home, you just have a bit of a delay on those kind of features. It just takes a while to do everything. And this shouldn't be because this phone is a very fast phone. So today we're going to show you how to speed it up to its top speed. First thing you're gonna do is you're gonna go into your settings menu. So you're gonna go scroll down and hit the settings button. And then we're going to scroll all the way down and go to about device. From here, we're gonna do something called unlocking developer options, which we'd scroll up, he'll hit this one that says build number, and you're gonna see it tell you when it's done. It's about seven times, and once you do, it will have the unlocked part right down there. Now from here, you have, we'll have a new section. Now it might take you all the way to the top, that's fine, you just scroll back down, and go to developer options. From here, you're going to scroll up to the drawing category. Under the drawing category, you're going to change each of these three to 0 0.5. So we're going to hit this one, this one, and this one. What this will do is it's going to make your device start to move a bit quicker. So when you go back, when you uh, flip through your screens, you're going to see it start to be able to move quicker than it did before. I have a lot of downloads going on, but even with those, it's still already moving a bit quicker. Now, how about your home screens? Well, your home screens are slowed down by this flipboard briefing, which we're now going to get rid of. How we do that is we hold this multi-screen button down, and when you hold the multi-screen button down, it essentially does a menu button. So when we do that, we're going to hit this home screen settings and we're going to take off flipboard briefing and then we're going to take off card stack and make it none. When we do this, your home screens will now move much quicker than they did before. So you're going to see your home screens move at a much faster rate than they ever did before. Now for the third piece, we're going to double tap the home button and what comes up when that happens? Well, it's S-Voice. Now, S-Voice is not my favorite feature on this phone. I think it's great for car mode, but other than that, it's pretty much useless to me because Google Now is superior in every way. And make sure to check out videos on Google Now itself. But when we go to S-Voice, we want to disable this double tap for the home because that's what slows down your home press. So we're going to hit next. We're going to agree. We're going to hit next, we're going to not allow, we're going to hit next, and then we're going to hit start. This will take us here. When we hit this menu button right here at the top, we're going to go into settings, and then we're going to hit this one, open via home key. What this allows is for your home press to be much, much quicker. So now when we go to an app and we hit the home button, we see at a much quicker rate. And you'll continue to see this at a quicker rate as you use the device itself. So now that we have our home screen, we have when we go to an app and at home, it goes quicker. We have the movement on everything quicker. What else do we need? Well, the one final piece that I recommend to a lot of people comes from uh, the unnecessary features that carriers put on. A lot of people can't stand carrier, what we call bloatware. And that is just stuff that they add on that really is useless to us. But not only do they do it, Google does it, Samsung does it, and what we're left with is a lot of apps starting off with before we even download our own apps. So for that reason, we have the ability to uninstall these apps. How we uninstall these is just by hitting this menu button right here at the top, and then click uninstall and disable apps. What this does is it removes it from your RAM, your cache, and basically only allows it to be reinstalled if you want to at a later date. Now, any of these minus ones can be uninstalled, which is the majority of all the bloatware besides the ones I've downloaded. For instance, if I didn't want Google Search, Gmail, Google+, if I didn't want the Office, which I, I, I would strongly recommend keeping, but two right here that I don't need for sure is Lookout and Penup. 
these are worthless to me. So I'm going to disable them and disable them. This means it's not going to be running in the background. It's not going to take up everything. It's just not going to do all this stuff in the background. Now, if you don't use some of these Google Play services, I do recommend getting rid of them too. So Google Books, Playbooks, I don't use. I don't, I don't find the appeal of reading on my phone to be all that necessary. I'll do that on my tablet if I choose to. Games does uh, sync up all of your gaming experience. So I would keep that one on even if you don't use it directly. It does sync up all your gaming experience. And if you don't use newsstand, say I don't use newsstand, so I can get rid of that one too. So I can just hit that and get rid of that. If you read magazines or newspapers though, you might want to keep the Google Play newsstand. And say if you weren't really into health, then you can get rid of S Health. If you don't use your carrier's uh, stuff, whether it be T-Mobile, Sprint, Verizon, AT&T, you can get rid of it all, which is again, a really great feature to have. So this eliminates most of the bloatware that comes on your phone right out of the box, which is of course really nice as anyone will tell you. And then not only will you get a longer battery life because it's not running in the background, but you're gonna get a much, much faster moving device overall. So that is how you speed up your Galaxy Note Edge. Hopefully you guys liked this video and if you guys have any questions, feel free to ask. This has been R-I-C-K-Y, the Android guy.